Uh, okay, we're in uh, London for the launch of the Dexo Energy Triathlon London event, which is going to be taking place in Hyde Park in August. And I'm joined uh, to my left by uh, current world champion uh, Helen Jenkins. So, welcome, Helen. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Thanks very much. Uh, obviously, when you won the world championships last year, you were Helen Tucker. So, I think. Congratulations, firstly, on the, on the wedding, because I've yeah. been happened since we last spoke to you. It sounds really strange, I'm still not quite used to it yet. No, but uh, all, all went well with the wedding and... Uh, it was really good fun, we had a group of about 30 of us out for the, the wedding, and yeah. we just had a really nice holiday as well, it was a good fun, a nice nice break after the Olympics. Yeah, and um, you had a, obviously a great season last year, probably um, at the beginning of the year. Probably couldn't have expected what was what was going to be happening because you were on buses, I believe, going around Argentina and all sorts of places to just to get on the start list of races and ended up um, world champion and, and making the Olympic team. So a bit of a transformation. It's yeah, it's, it's a bit unbelievable. I mean, at the start of the year, I, I didn't have any ranking points. I had to go to South America to some points races to even get a start for the World Cups. Yeah. Then I had to, you know. The British girls were all kind of we were all racing it out between ourselves to get onto the start line for Madrid, and then, and yeah, then like I'm second in Madrid, qualified for the Olympics, and then, yeah. then didn't didn't expect worlds at all. So it's just a fantastic year. Yeah, and and worlds, I believe you weren't even going to be racing the, the worlds until a couple of weeks before the the event, so you weren't even expected to be on the start line, let alone winning it. No, it was about a week and a half before because we only had two spots qualified for the Olympic Games for the women, so it was a kind of a last ditch effort to try and qualify the three spots mm -hmm. and then um, yeah so it was a last minute decision and I'm so, well, I'm so glad I raced now because it <laughs> wasn't really in my plans but yeah. it worked out for the best. Yeah no, I did yeah no, I, was, I, was, I was there to see it and yeah it was a great race and uh, um, proved that you had a sprint finish that you didn't <laughs> think you had. <laughs> yeah. I still don't think it's that fast but um, it was fast enough. It was fast it was enough, fast that's enough, all, all that matters. Uh, okay, so on to, on to 2009, uh, we're here for the, the launch of the Dextro Energy Series. Um, you raced the first first race uh, in Korea a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about that and, and how that went and how that fits into the rest of your season? Yeah, but it, it, was, it went okay. It was the first one of the season. It's the first race I've done since the Olympics and I was 14th. So I can't say like I was overjoyed with the result, but it's a, it's a solid start to the year. And for the training I've done before that, I hadn't really done any of the race intensive stuff yet. It was um, it's a good start. I'm hoping to build throughout the year and, and kind of have my best race at the end of the year in the final in Australia. Yeah. And, and on that pathway I guess the, the race in London is always going to be important, um, you know, being being a rich athlete yeah. and uh, the the media and um, the pressure is going to be on to, to actually race in the Olympic venues the, that race you're looking forward to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when we saw London was on there, and it's you know it's, it's going to be in the venue of 2012, not the exact course yet, but the venue. I think is 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 a big one to do, and, and we're um, I think all the British athletes are excited to be racing in you know in London with with a British crowd. I mean, it's it was a shame that we haven't had Salford for a few years because the support there was yeah. fantastic. So it's great to have a, a big um, well, a big event back for the elites in, in the UK. Yeah. And can we expect to see you on, in any other UK races during the season? Well, I'm hoping to do the London track. Well, it's not um, set in stone yet, but I think I'm just going to see how it goes. And I love it. I'd love to race in the UK a bit more this year, but it, it just hasn't, with the new series taking up so much of our racing time, it's the opportunities aren't aren't always there but it's always a, if I can I definitely will be racing. Yeah. And um, what do you think about the, the series or you know, sort of the, the world championship now being replaced by more of a I guess like a Formula One Grand Prix league yeah. series is that um, something that you're, you're really looking forward to and how does that change your racing for plans for this for the season? It's, it's very different I mean we're used to the one-off events and I think we still as athletes need to be good at that one-off event because you know the Olympics is a one-off event so you know, it's. I think the Australia, the final, which is you know, I think is is extra points as well. So that will still be my my main aim for the season. So I'm still, you know, trying to have that one-off race. But I'll definitely be trying to race consistently. You know, have consistent results throughout the year to try and get my, uh, you know, my final position up there. Yeah, and um, a lot of the the, the Dextro races have also got age group um, events sort of coinciding with them the day before or the day after, which I guess makes it a bit like the the, you know, the one-off yeah. world championships which must be quite good because it 
brings extra supporters out and to, yeah. to cheer you, you lead guys on as well. I think it's fantastic when they have an age group race as well. I think the, well, the one in London has a junior race, a youth race, a para triathlon race and an age group race. So it's always like a weekend of racing and yeah. I think it creates a good kind of environment around the race rather than you know, just a race where there's no one there watching. So it should be should be good fun to have um, all the people at the races. Yeah, and it's, I guess also with triathlon it's pretty good that um, you, know, you can turn up and watch, you don't have to go and buy expensive tickets or go yeah. and, you, know, you can come and sit hopefully in the, in the sun, we hope, in Hyde Park and then see what's going on um, with, yeah. the, with the event and, and the athletes. I think, yeah, I think that's definitely, it will be a big draw for people. I mean, I think they had a race in Hyde Park a couple of years ago, part of the chorus series. And I think just people were walking around the park and was like came across the triathlon like what's going on and, and ended up watching. So I think you'll have a bit of that, but I think uh, hopefully the race will be well advertised and we'll have quite a few people there watching. Mm -hmm. um, how was um, yeah, last year making the Olympic team and, and winning the World Championship, how has that sort of changed uh, your, your profile or the amount of media interest and stuff? since then and yeah. you know, has that had a big impact on, on you and, and your, your, your training and, um, and the attention that you get in the sport? It's been um, not, not massively changed my training or anything, everything's kind of going as normal but there's definitely a little bit more media attention, it's, especially in Wales because it's um, before, before um, the Olympics there was quite a lot of attention on me then after winning Worlds but, and, and especially in the sport. I think. But I think it's part of something we've got to accept as as the this new series will then there'll be more T V coverage, we'll be promoted more as athletes. So I think it's good that we get used to, you know, dealing with the media and having the interviews and, and being a bit more recognised. So I think we have to be prepared to accept that if the sport's gonna grow. Yeah, I guess that also hopefully it's gonna help all your guys' income as well and bring sponsors and interest to the sport and because yeah. it is a is a growing sport and uh, yeah. yeah. I hope so. I mean all the athletes obviously want want to want to be racing, want to make a living out of the sport and I think but I think that if it gets bigger on TV and, and grows that way then it, it gets bigger underneath that as well and there's, there's more races available for you know everyone who's out there yeah. which can only be a good thing for triathlon to keep growing then. Yeah, excellent. Well, well we wish you well for the rest of 2009 Thanks. and uh, we'll be watching your progress and certainly be here at London to watch you um, race against uh, all the other top athletes around the world and uh, wish you well for the season. Thank you Thanks very much. Time. Thanks John. Cheers. Is that nice to me? Go. Go. Oh, hello. Get out.